Managing General Ledger within Microsoft Dynamics AX. The Microsoft Dynamics AX General Ledger module provides flexible configuration around the setup and maintenance of a shared chart of accounts, shared currencies, and exchange rate, and shared fiscal calendars. You can override specific attributes for a main account per company and override specific attributes for a financial dimension value per chart of accounts and or per company. Even though you may be sharing a fiscal calendar across multiple legal entities, you can still manage the period status per legal entity, allowing you to close a period for one legal entity and keep that same period open for other legal entities. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 has introduced a new concept called Account Structures. Account Structures provide the segments available for a ledger account, provide the valid combinations of main account and financial dimension values, and provide the order of entry in the new account entry control. Account Structures can be integrated with the organization hierarchy to provide the constraints for the related financial dimensions instead of having to manage the constraints in two places. Account structures can be shared across multiple charts of accounts, and each chart of accounts can use one or more account structures. For each account structure, you can create multiple advanced rules. Advanced rules are designed to basically append one or more account structures to your account structure. They let you add additional financial dimensions based on a filter that you are that is not in the account structure. For example, if you want to track the employee for your travel expense account only, you can create an advanced rule that will provide the employee financial dimension whenever the travel expense account is entered on a source document. The general journal entry form provides flexibility in the type of account entries recorded into Microsoft Dynamics AX. When posting an amount to a non-ledger account from the general journal entry form, the related sub-ledger is also updated. For example, if recording a customer payment directly into the general journal, the customer balance in accounts receivable will be updated, the bank account balance will be updated, and the general ledger will be updated. The following account types can be entered into the general journal. Ledger accounts, customer accounts, Vendor accounts, project accounts, fixed asset accounts, and bank accounts. General journal entry records can be set up to automatically reverse on a specified date. This provides support for the accrual of expenses, for example, in which the expense period crosses multiple fiscal periods. As part of the period end processes, many organizations allocate amounts, such as an overhead expense across different departments, cost centers, and potentially across legal entities. Microsoft Dynamics AX supports the ability to create flexible rules that can be used periodically to allocate the balances of a ledger account to one or more other ledger accounts. Microsoft Dynamics AX supports one or more consolidation companies that provide support for different levels of consolidated reporting across legal entities. Consolidation companies can be included in the consolidation process to another consolidation company. Consolidated financial reporting can be generated from a consolidation company directly. When related companies within an organization sell to or purchase from each other, all or a portion of the expense and revenue must be eliminated when generating a consolidated financial report. Microsoft Dynamics AX supports the ability to create one or more rules for generating elimination journal entries to eliminate the intercompany sales and purchases. The elimination journal entries can be generated in separate elimination companies or automatically generated with the consolidation process in a consolidation company. Various reports and inquiries are available to provide required information about your general ledger activity. Um, some examples include like the main account list page, which provides the list of main accounts and their balances, the trial balance list page, which 
displays the activity for the ledger accounts. There is also a trial balance report available. Um, there are some voucher inquiries that, that um, provide the detail about the um, vouchers that were posted into general ledger. Um, audit trail inquiries and reports, transaction reports such as the dimension statement and balance list, journal reports. There are also reconciliation reports which provide the differences between a sub-ledger balance and the summary ledger account balance in the general ledger. Financial statements generated in Excel based on flexible role and column setup are also available. Microsoft Dynamics AX provides for easy creation and maintenance of an unlimited number of financial dimensions and the ability to determine which financial dimensions are available for data entry with the association of one or more account structures to the chart of accounts. This can provide a very detailed account of activity in the general ledger for a fiscal year. Because you may not want or need a very detailed balance sheet, you have the flexibility to determine at which level the profit and loss accounts close out to your equity account when bringing the balances forward to the next fiscal year. You can choose to close the profit and loss accounts out to the same level detailed as entered or roll up to a, speci a specific financial dimension level. A closing sheet is also av available if you need to record period and adjustments into a closing period. Microsoft Dynamics AX supports multiple closing periods for a specific fiscal period. This provides the ability with a closing sheet to record different adjustments such as internal audit adjustments versus external audit adjustments into different closing periods. These can be included in various general ledger inquiries and reports including the financial statement. This slide is providing a graphical overview of the value proposition I just provided. I'm now going to move into Dynamics AX to show you a couple of the areas I spoke about. This is the navigation or the area page for the general ledger module and it looks very similar to the rest of the modules in Dynamics AX. There are two list pages listed under common. Uh, first one is main accounts, which will display the list of main accounts as, long as, as well as their balance. The trial balance is based on dimension sets, and this allows you to set the level of um, detail that you want to see. Um, you can select any of the di financial dimension sets that you set up and. Um, and it will show the beginning balance, debit and credit, and the ending balance for each one of those combinations. If I go into the general journal, I'll just pull one general journal up and show you that you can enter all the different account types directly into the voucher line. So there is a, a field called the account type, and if I drop that down, you'll see ledger, customer, vendor, project, fixed assets, or bank. And based on that account type, the account number will either show with a segmented view um, for the ledger account, and that's all based on your uh, account structures and advanced rules, or it is just this, um, the, the account that you entered based on the type. So in this line, it shows us fixed assets, so I'm just pulling up one of the fixed assets. In that case, if I want to add additional dimensions, I would just click up under the financial dimensions and either pick for the account or the offset account, if I have an offset account. This is also where I can select it to have the system automatically reverse uh, the, en the entry and then give it a date, and the system will automatically post that reversing entry. There are various inquiries available um, out of the box for you to, to see the detailed information that got posted into the general ledger, as well as the periodic area where there's things like if you're in a consolidation company, you can run the consolidation functionality there. Um, you can revalue your general ledger balances. Uh, you can do things like the fiscal year close where it's the closing sheet and then bringing your balances forward into the new year. Um, and you can clean up some of your journals. The periodic journals provide a, a template 
for you to create um, journals multiple times. The various reports out of the box, there's the audit trail report, um, there's uh, various transaction type reports such as the financial statement, trial balance, um, some additional uh, reports as well that you can get out of the box. And, re and the reconciliation reports are listed there. And of course we have setup. And setup is where you would set up all the information around um, the currencies, uh, the chart of accounts, and the account structures, uh, as well as financial dimensions and the financial dimension sets which will be calculating your balances. You would also set up your journals here and you have integration into the organization model under here and all your posting rules as well. Uh, the ledger is what really ties everything together for a legal entity. It will de determine which chart of accounts you're using as chart of accounts can be shared across multiple legal entities. It will also tell you uh, which ca fiscal calendar you're using, what your accounting currency is, the reporting currency, uh, what you want to use as your default exchange rate type, which would pr provide the exchange rates when you um, and record in a foreign currency, as well as you could have a different exchange rate used for budgeting purposes. So overall, your general ledger will provide um, all the functionality that you need to track your GL, as well as um, provide the financial statement reporting that is required.